and thanking you for life, health, and strength, Abba. We thank you for the rising on today. We thank you for allowing our eyes to see a new rising that we've never seen before, for new opportunities that you're going to allow to open up for us on today as we flow in our Shabbat, as we flow in our rest, as we focus on you on today, realizing that you are the reason for everything, for all of our going up, our coming downs, our being turned around and around side by side, whatever we find ourselves in, we know that it's all because of you father we know that your desire is for us to draw closer to you so everything that we go through father it is to get us to fall down on our knees and call out to your name and be those obedient children that you desire us to be father so father on today we just thank you and we just give you all praise for truly you are worthy hallelujah and Father, we lift up that one to you today that is sick, that is not feeling well in their body. Father, we ask that you pour in the oil and the wine for healing, Father, that that loved one may get that healing that they need to be made whole on today. Father, we ask for the one that is bound by anything that is that is not of you, Father, that is anything of this world. We ask that they be broke free today, that the chains fall off of them on today, Father, that they walk in freedom on today, Father. So, Father, we just thank you and we praise you right now, Father. Father, for everything that you're going to do. We thank you for making a way out of no way. You know, Father, I'm not one to really watch the news, but I hear there's a lot of things going on in this world. Father, but I'm hoping and praying that our our eyes, our affection is towards you on today, knowing that you are the author and the finisher of our faith, knowing that there's nothing that this world and the nameless one that can do to us as long as we find ourselves in right legal standing with you. So, Father, that's what this world has to report to me because it's not of you. So, Father, I just thank you. I praise you. I thank you for our SOC family. I thank you for all of those that are attached to SOC in some form or fashion. We ask that you just bless in a mighty way on today. Father, we pray that this word permeates our hearts, Father, that we find ourselves drawing closer unto you. Father, we just thank you. We give you our praise. We thank you for Yashifah HaMashiach and the example that he led. Hallelujah. Showing us how to live this life, to live this truth. And for us coming into the realization, Father, that the laws, commandments, and the statutes are not done away with, but that he came to fulfill them, that we might live a righteous life before you. So we just thank you. We give you praise. We ask that your Ruach just saturate each and every home, each and every heart on today. And we give you our praise, our glory. In Yashifah name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to read here. Okay. Hallelujah. Um, you know, we are continuing in the series, You Are Built for This. Because we really need to understand and come to the realization of who we really are as Yasharel, as the children of the Most High. We say that, but sometimes do we really understand the power that we possess? Do we really understand what that means to say, I am the son or the daughter of the Most High, the one who spoke this thing into being, who spoke the universe and it became, who said, let there be light and there was light, who said, let there be the day and the night and there was day and the night, who and threw it the, from the stars. Hallelujah. And it was constitutional. constitutional. It was constitutional when our father did all these things. And as I'm growing in this truth, in this way of life, I'm realizing more how awesome he is and how regardless of what we have a powerful source in our father. Our father is powerful. There is no force in the universe that can defeat him. Come on. And when you realize that source lives on the inside of you, you then realize I am built for this. Uh. I am built for this way of life. Even though I may have to let some things go. I may have lost some loved ones. I may have lost some friends. I may have lost some associates, but I'm built for this way of life because my father built me that way. 
And my father is the one that built everything I see around me. So we have to get to that realization that no matter what, the nameless one, whether you want to call him Hasatan, whatever you want to call him, there's nothing he can throw at you that the Most High cannot defeat. There's power in the name. Yes, it is. And as we're learning the name and we're calling on the right name, we find out we are built for this. We find out that we are more than conquerors. We find out that we are above and not beneath. We are the head and not the tail. Because our father said so. And if the father says it's so, it is so. And nothing can change what the father says. Because as I said last week, he is not a man that he should lie. So all praises to the Most High Yah on this Shabbat and on every day that he allows us to wake up and take in the breath of life and move our limbs and do all that he allows us to do. Because sometimes I think we get a little twisted. We think it's us. Oh, I woke up this morning. I got out of bed. I did this. We say a lot of eyes. But sometimes we got to remember it is him that allowed us to be. And no matter what this world sends our way to try to sway us, to try to make us want to run back. He has all power in his hands. He has all control in his hands. No one can take him off the throne. He can't be dethroned like a human king can. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Yes, he is. He is the bright and morning star. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He is the reason we move and have our being. You know, I hear a lot of people say, y'all, that these har a lot of things are getting ready to happen, a lot of horrible things. And I find myself not fretting because I'm built for this. Come on. I know there is a generation in time or a dispensation of time that I wasn't built for. And that would have been back to me when our ancestors had to go through slavery because I know Sharon and Sharon sometimes can still get slick at the mouth. So I wasn't built for that time, but the most high made sure that I came into this dispensation of time. Why? Because I was built for this. I am built for whatever is going to happen. You were built for whatever is going to happen. So do not let this world and the media and the government, the system, don't let those things sway you and have you in limbo about what you're going to do and what's going to happen with the money and what's going to happen with this. It's all smoke screen and distraction to keep us from looking at the most high, from staying focused on our father and realizing where our real source lies. It lies in the most high. It doesn't lie in that check you get every Friday, every two Fridays, whenever you get it, once a month, biannually, however you get it. We've grown accustomed to thinking that's our source. Our pastor has taught us money ain't even real. It has no real value. So this system has us thinking that, wow, we got to depend on them and we got to look to them. No. I'm looking to the Most High, Yahweh Elohim. Because if he was able to speak 
this universe into being, he can provide every single thing that we need. We don't have to fear and we don't have to fret. Because our father is just that he's a father and he knows how to provide constitutional things to his children. So we must keep our focus, Yasharel. Know who we are. Know that we're built for this. Know that this is our dispensation of time. A lot of things come against us. A lot of tragedies happen in our lives. We have those that we think that love us that speak against us. But at the end of the day, you're still built for this. The father purposed you in the womb of your mother to be birthed into this dispensation. Because there is a work, there is a word in you that he wants to be released in this earth. And before our Messiah can return, we got to get this word out. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters in Yasharel today. If you feel the most high is putting a word in your belly and it is flowing like rivers of water, you need to get that word out. You need to open your mouth, cry loud and spare not. Don't withhold the word of the most high from those who need it the most. Because the one thing we don't want to do is have blood on our hands when we stand before him. I know some of us may feel that we're not worthy of the calling. We're not, you know, who am I? But the Most High knows what he's put into each and every one of us. He knows you better than you know yourself. So as you are going through and, and you are realizing and you're coming into the knowledge of your full self. No, he wants to do a work in you. And it don't take you having a minister title, a pastor title, an evangelist, a prophet, a moray, a mora. You ain't got to be any of that. All you got to do is be a willing vessel and know that you are built for this. I cannot stress that enough that you are built for this it doesn't matter where you come from whether you come from the projects whether you come from eating oodles and noodles and hot dogs or you come from a mountaintop where your family ate filet mignon every night and you had butlers and you had maid service it doesn't matter your status in the physical it matters your status in the spiritual and when you start looking over into Yahweh's kingdom, you're going to find yourself there. Knowing that what he's put into you was meant to be there and meant to be shared abroad. We have got to understand. If you take nothing else away from this series, you were built for this. This is your time. Stand up, Yasharel. Quam, Yasharel, as we say. Quam, Yasharel. Know that you are Yasharel. You're not the city you live in. I'm not Statesville. I'm not Charlotte. I'm not Pennsylvania. I'm not Philadelphia. I'm not Brooklyn. I am Yasharel. Come on. And when we start realizing that, we realize what we have access to. Father's giving us the keys, y'all. We got to start unlocking some doors. And also locking some things up. Because there's some things that we need to bound in this earth. And there's some things we need to loose in the earth. But he said he gave that power to us to bind and loosen. So come on, family. 
Kwam Yasharel. When they ask you who you are, tell them I'm Yasharel. Make them look at you crazy. And then explain to them who you belong to. Just because I'm melanated don't mean anything. I'm Yasharel all day, every day. Because that's something nobody can take from us. Nobody can take our identity, who we are, and whose we are. We belong to the Most High Yah. And at this time, I'm going to check in with Minister Joseph. Hallelujah. Because I know he always has a, a word and we're getting in with time. So he wants me to go ahead and start reading, y'all. Hallelujah. Um, so those of you that have your word, your sword, hallelujah, those that are, 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 are girded up today, we're going to go into Romans, the eighth chapter. Um, and I'm going to start reading around the 14th verse. And the word of Yah says, for as many are led by the Ruach of Yah, these are the sons of Yah. For you did not receive the Ruach of bondage again to fear. But you received the Ruach of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Ruach himself bears witness of our Ruach that we are children of the Most High. And if children, then heirs of Most High and joint heirs with the Messiah. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I consider the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Hold on, y'all. My page is going to stick together. Mm -mm, we're not doing that. Come on, page. There you go. Verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of the Most High. For the creation was subject to frutality, not willingly, but because of him who subject it in hope. Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption and the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but we also who have the first fruits of the Ruach, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly awaiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for that which we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Likewise, the, the Ruach also helps in our weakness. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Ruach himself make his intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Read okay, read his entirety. <clears throat> ah. Now he that searches the heart knows what is the mind of the Ruach because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. And we know that all things work together for the constitution to those who love the most high, to those who are called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called, whom he called, those he also justified and whom he justified those he also glorified what then shall we say to those things if yah is for us who can be against us 
he who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against Yah's elect? It is Yah who justifies. Who is he who, who condemns? It is the Messiah who died and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of the Most High, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or sword. As it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yahshua HaMashiach, our Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to read one more time in your hearing that it says, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Yashafi HaMashiach, our Messiah. So as I was saying, y'all, nothing has control over us because all things were rendered helpless to our father. Because once again, the word is saying we are 